Hi friends, for today's video, I'll be giving you a somewhat a tutorial of um, how to solve, they call this a uh, two-layer petal column magic cube cylinder speed puzzle. I just uh, saw that in Shopee on what this one is called. On uh, how I will address the names of the parts, we will call each of these um, triangles a petal and we will call this curved surface the curved surface top part is called the base so we have a blue and a green base and we have um, six colors for the curved surface this doesn't have the same pattern as a uh, three by three or a two by two uh, cube so this has a different um, algorithm when uh, you will solve this actually you'll only need to memorize a uh, one or two algorithms solving this we have to first solve for the base and then we will later on solve for each of uh, these petals before we start solving we need to rearrange this puzzle okay. So you see here that we have this and this. So what we need to do is, of course, we have to put back the base into a solid color like blue and green. And then um, so for the curved surface. And how do we do that? So what, do, what I usually do is uh, I make sure that I have um, half of um, this base in the same color. So for example, this is blue. So I already have that. So at the back, I also have green. Now, how do I solve for this? How do I put together this to this part? So, it's actually a bit tricky, but uh, what I do is like this. Uh, I try to imagine if I put this here, what will happen? This happens. So, if this happens and this happens, we're already about two to three steps away to solving the base. So next is, what we need to do is find a way when we flip this, we make a slice, we call this slice, it will um, form into a, um, each half would form two solid colors. So let's see how we'll do that. So we have two petals, green petals here. So we make sure that we flip it over it will go it uh, will be on the side where this one petal will be um, in place so let's try Ooh. see if we flip it like that half is already solid green and the other half is solid blue and also the same as with this um, bottom part so what we need to do is to rearrange and then slice you put the um, blue half uh, bases together so we have a blue solid base and a green solid base now how do we solve for the curved surface how do we put the same petal colors together so this is where we will use an algorithm I learned this algorithm from YouTube kind of just uh, memorized it and uh, became a muscle memory so I don't need to look at the algorithm anymore because I have solved this um, cube a lot of times already so this is the algorithm I'll put it here on, on top so we will use this algorithm to until we solve all of these uh, petals until we put all of the petal colors together what this algorithm does is it will move these petals clockwise so when I say clockwise it's like this for example, I'll, I'm considering this three petals because it will move three petals. So this will move here, this here, and this here, like on a clockwise motion, like that. But before I go to how to see that algorithm, let us find a base. So when we say base, we have to make a reference on uh, one petal color. So let's see let's say we use yellow so yellow this is uh, our base and we will now look for a way how to complete the colors so if this is my base 
I might I will disregard this one as uh, on the same uh, petal color my goal is to move this here so how do I do that so first I have to do I have to rearrange all of this three so this will move here this here and all the way there so this is the three petals that uh, will be affected by the algorithm that we will use so how do we use that algorithm so this is one two three we since this is the three petals when you say r in that algorithm we mean after petal one so that would be r so this will be our fr and then u prime u prime and then r and then two u prime you do this uh, three times so this is the second second and third and then this it's the fourth and that's a different algorithm when you put that here you turn this clockwise two times so you see that the red moved here now we need to move this here so we have to do this algorithm twice so let's do it actually sometimes i don't uh, count the uh, rotations anymore i just uh, make sure that i'm doing the uh, r u and r u u this and then last one is one two three and the fourth one so, okay and one two okay so you can see here it's already aligned so our next goal is to move this here so as you can see uh if i move this here and move this here okay anyway let's just do it it's really easy you just need to memorize algorithms and do some um analyzing on how you can use that algorithm to move these uh, petals around and you don't actually have to count because when you reach this part okay, it just means that that's the last um, rotation then I have to move this here again this one two and three and fourth one is different so you can see that this this all of this three is already um in the same um these petals have the same color already and this one if we take a look at the algorithm we have to move um this so move this here and here and then let's do that one more so we can move this here and here and then move this counter clock uh, clockwise see it's done it's solved 
so you just use that algorithm now i mentioned um one algorithm that uh, you might need to use because uh, there are cases when you've solved all four petals then these two are inverted like for example for the case when this goes here or this goes here let's try that okay i'll just make a case so that uh, it would be somewhat a reference if uh, that happens to you okay let's say for example that uh, what happened is this so you have completed all four but these two seem to be um, it didn't align to the same color this is when you'll need the uh, this second algorithm so this is the second algorithm so this uh, will have to do r slice r and then if you look down we say d it means that we have to move this clockwise one time and then r prime and then u prime and then r and then we have to move this cube counterclockwise one time and then r and then counterclockwise again and r and you see it's now solved so that is how you solve a two-layer petal column magic cube cylinder speed puzzle So this one I bought this from, it's either in Fully Booked or at Mindworks in Festival Mall. So those um, both bookstores usually have uh, cubes. Uh, they usually sell cubes and I've already seen some um, cubes or also a variety of cubes in Toys R Us. So they have uh, the U-Pin and the, I think Next Pin is the other brand. So they have these kinds of uh, cubes. So you can buy it there or you can also buy it from Shopee. So I'll be putting uh, this here. You can see it here. I just saw this in Shopee. So that's where I learned what uh, this um, cube is called. And um, yeah, you can, I'll just put the link in the description below if you're interested on this kind of cube. So I'm, I have actually lots of cube that I still need to solve. So, so far, I was able to um, determine um, how to solve a 2x2, two 3x6x6 two, six six cube. And um, also the flower um, version of this one, which I will make another video on uh, on that and uh, just note guys that i'm not an expert on solving cubes i also learn from tutorials it's just that i uh, get the easiest way or the easiest algorithm that i can remember and make into a muscle memory and some the second um, algorithm that i've uh, shared with you is something that i've just figured out because i can't seem to find a tutorial for that so i'm also making this video as a future reference for myself in case i forget how to solve this one because sometimes when i write down the algorithm i seem to forget the dynamics of that algorithm is so i thought that might uh, might as well share it with you all if you like this video please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up and as well hitting the notification bell so you'll be updated on our next upload so thank you for watching and see you in our next video bye